So this is an African penguin. Unfortunately, it is also known as the jackass penguin because of this noise. Although you can see these cute little waddlers in many different locations in Cape Town and the Western Cape, the most popular place is by far and away Boulders Beach, situated in the idyllic seaside village of Simonstown. This is the story of how I got to be the parent of an abandoned little penguin named Chelsea. As some of you may be aware, Blair and I are actually getting married at the end of this month. <laughs> Holy smokes. When I say it out loud, like, it's, it's crazy. I can't believe that time has flown this much. And it literally feels like just the other day when he proposed and this all started happening and becoming real. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Unexpected love was found Anyway, so a couple of weeks ago, my family and all of my girlfriends organized a surprise kitchen tea for me. It's basically just a formality that many brides do before their wedding and it typically involves the giving, or in my case, the receiving of things for your, well, things for your kitchen as the name suggests. However, I received a pretty awesome gift at mine. I have received a certificate officially informing me that I have adopted an African penguin from Sankob whose name is Chelsea. Sankob is a non-profit organization whose primary objective is to reverse the decline of seabird populations through the rescue, rehabilitation and the release of ill, injured, abandoned and oiled seabirds, especially endangered species like the African penguin. So you guys might have seen or heard of one of Cape Town's biggest tourist attractions, Boulders Beach, the home of the African penguin, and a place where Chelsea might have lived were he or she, I don't really know his gender, not abandoned. So one of the reasons that Boulders Beach is so popular, apart from its incredible scenery and magnificent beach itself, is the opportunity for you to get super up close and personal with the penguins. Although you're not allowed to touch or disturb them, they are pretty habituated to humans, so they kind of allow you to get quite close to them, providing a lot of unique opportunities. So this is where these little dudes live freely and safely in a protected area. Unfortunately, their fate against sharks and other natural predators is not quite as guaranteed. But their home happens to be one of the nicest beaches in Cape Town. And considering that traveling is pretty hard these days, I thought that I'd just take you guys along with me and we could go check it out. Welcome to Boulders Beach in Simonstown. It's about 45 minutes, 40 minutes out of the city center. And it is a slice of freaking paradise in Cape Town, especially on a good day. But this is a spot where locals and tourists come to see the African penguin, also known as a jackass penguin because of the noise that it makes. 
and this is a really unique beach because they're quite habituated to humans not habituated enough that you can go up and pet them they'll certainly give you a nasty nip but uh, while you're swimming in the water they'll be swimming around you you'll see them waddling about as you're lying on the beach um, it's a really really cool spot and apart from that it's just an incredible setting my whole family is on the other side of the beach including my little nephew and this will be his first time seeing a penguin so I'm rather excited to get to them and uh, I don't think there were any penguins on that side when I arrived but you never know um, but it'll be so cute to see him on the beach anyway is a beautiful stretch of white sand and turquoise waters with these small little coves hidden amongst the large granite boulders. Because it falls under the Table Mountain National Park's marine protected area, the beach is always safe and clean and crowds are limited. There is a small entrance fee required to enter the beach, but with the African penguin population under threat, this fee actually goes towards the conservation efforts in order to protect them. We'll get back to the video in just a second, but from Chelsea and myself, uh, we just want to say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring yet again another video on my channel. So what is Squarespace? Basically, in a nutshell, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that allows you to do everything from hosting your domain with them, to building websites from online stores, to blogs, to portfolios, you name it, they pretty much offer it. Squarespace offer a lot of features, but I'm going to go through just a few that I think you should be looking out for if you are wanting to start your online website or blog. The first is access to analytics. Squarespace offers incredible access to analytics, and this is crucial for allowing you to grow and expand your website and allow it to reach more eyeballs, essentially. The great thing is you don't have to be some crazy skilled designer. Squarespace offers award-winning themes and templates already made. So you pretty much just type in what you're looking for. It suggests themes according to your search and you just use that as your template. It's really simple and easy. The last but certainly not the least feature that I quickly want to highlight is the access to being able to edit your content whilst traveling. And this is made possible through the mobile app. You can edit your website on the go while you're traveling using the mobile app, which makes it perfect for any emergencies or things you can change whilst you are on the go. So if you are interested, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if you then want to set up shop, quite literally, head to squarespace.com forward slash Nicole any for 10% of your first purchase of a domain or website. Cool, that's about it. We are gonna jump right back into the video and we will be visiting Sankov, the Seabird Rehabilitation Center, where hopefully, fingers crossed, we can find Chelsea the Penguin. So yesterday we saw the African penguin in the wild and today I have just arrived at Sankob Rehabilitation Center. With so many contributing factors leading to the African penguin and other seabird species population numbers declining quite rapidly, there are lots of heroes working behind the scenes to try and stabilize and if not raise these numbers. And a lot of that hard work goes on right here at Sankob. Thank you. 
So I had a brief chat to Tonia Weingart at Sankob, but I will let her introduce herself. My name is Tonia Weingart and I am a resource developer at Sankob based out here in Tableview. Okay, so in a nutshell, what Sankob does is we try and bolster the wild population of seabirds. So we rescue, we rehabilitate, and then we release seabirds back into the wild. Um, we have a number of seabirds that we that we care for and rehabilitate, but the most iconic and most known for seabird in our care is the African penguin, which sadly only sits at about 10,000 uh, breeding pairs left in the wild. So we rescue injured and abandoned penguins and also abandoned eggs. Uh, we're also one of the, the only organizations to, to then hand rear these eggs um, and uh, release these eggs back into the wild. The African penguin has unfortunately seen a massive decline in numbers over the last few years. And although there are a few different factors contributing to this, it is very much largely due to overfishing in the commercial fishing industry leaving the penguin with much less fish in the water to eat. So one of the ways that we uh, encourage supporters, the public, corporates, trusts and foundations, wherever you are really, um, to get involved with SANCOB is through our adoption program. It often makes for an amazing gift. Um, there are three adoption options. You are able to adopt one of our home pen birds. Our home pen birds are those birds that are permanent residents of ours. An adoption costs 1,000 rand and you, it's valid for, for a year. The second option is adopting one of our rehabilitation birds, uh, which costs 600 rand, also valid for a year. And the special, the extra special element of that option is that you get to you name your penguin of your choosing. And then lastly, we have an option of adopting an egg. Uh, all of the funds raised through our adoption program goes to the needed funds to, to really carry the center, which is hugely our fish needs, all our birds in that care and the veterinary, veterinary care of, of the birds as well. 